Hello and welcome to episode 30 of my RuneScape tutorial Let's Play series. This episode is going to be on starting the quest Perils of Ice Mountain. The reason I say starting is because it's a medium length quest. Um, I'm just going to see how much I can get done. It would be nice if I could complete it but I'm not sure. Perils of Ice Mountain I've decided to do because in order to smith pickaxes you need to do this quest to unlock it. So let's bring up the quests and take a look at Perils of Ice Mountain. So there it is, let's click on it. Okay, so as you can see you need to start by speaking to Lucky on the road south of Ice Mountain. Well, I'm showing you... Um, let's close that. I'm showing you from the Falador Lodestone, so that's where I'm starting. Okay, so you need five in farming, five hunter skill and five in thieving. It's a medium length quest. The items you're going to need are a watering can, a bucket of compost, two planks and two nails. The watering can you can buy from a farming shop, uh, buckets of compost you get from the farming, two planks you can get from... Uh, if you go to the Yanil Lodestone, cool, it takes its time this map loading. God, blimey. Right, okay, so if you go to the Yanil. Which is here, lodestone, and then come up here. You can find two blank planks that spawn just uh, here, somewhere here. You go here, you'll see there's two planks on the ground. That's where you can get the planks from. Two nails you make in smithing, and that gives you then all the items you need. So let's set active, and now let's do this perils of ice mountain. So if you look in my pocket. I'll show you I've got a watering can, bucket of compost, two bronze nails and two planks. <clears throat> okay, so we head over here towards Ice Mountain. Come up these steps. And over here by his cart is Lucky. Let's talk to him. Oh dear, oh dear. What's the matter? I'm going to lose my job. One crate is missing. I have to get them all to Droker's power station. He'll kill me. I could help you find the crate. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so then we accept the quest. Right. Could you? Thank you. I've just come up the western road. It must be along the road south somewhere. When you find it, please take it to Drokar in the power station by the mine. I can't wait any longer. I'll deliver these crates and tell him you're coming. Okay, so now we come down here. We've got to start searching the bushes because he's lost his crate in one of these bushes. Now it's for different players, it's different bushes. So just make sure you search all the bushes down there by the path. I wish the flickering wisp would get out of the way. Right, let's search this bush. You find a crate in the bush. There we go. Right, we've got the crate. So now we need to go to the power station on Ice Mountain. Which basically is there. So if I click there. Be a run up. So we come along here and we've got to go in this building here.
if I show you with the quest as well. So I talked to Lucky the, the delivery dwarf. Lucky the delivery dwarf asked me to find a crate that fell off his car on the road north of Falador. I have the crate. Now I should give it to Drokar in the Ice Mountain Power Station. So that's what we're doing. Talk to Drokar. Oh, are you here with the last part of the delivery? Yes. About time. Now I can finally bring the station up to full capacity. Drokar's assistant takes a large egg from the crate and carries it to the other room of the power station. Now, since you're here, I've got another job for you. Take this letter to Brother Baldis in the monastery to the northeast of here. Okay. Right, now it does say it's a good idea to pickpocket the key. from uh, Drokar, I believe. You steal a key from Drokar's pocket. That just saves you a lot of time if you get that key. So if we have a look, you'll see now I've got a Dwarven key. Right, so the next thing, let's check the quest log. Drokar gave me a letter to talk to Brother Baldis in the monastery which is to the east of Ice Mountain so that's what we'll do now I'm not sure if I can teleport closer there's a lodestone oh no I may as well just run there I'm not that far but that's where we gotta go that monastery Oops, right over in a distance. I'm just wondering how far I can click. So here's the monastery. Not the monk. There. Uh, oh, I thought that was him. No. Brother Bordis. There we go. It's a bit slow today. A bit lagging out. I'm afraid Brother Bordis has taken a vow of silence. Oh, that's why it's... I thought it was just not loaded, so... Okay, that's why he's speechless. I have a letter for you. Brother Bordis reads the letter with growing anger. Samarok's fiery hooves. Oops, he's spoken. Brother Baldish, your vow of silence. It's Droker. First he builds the great Zamokarakian smoke machine, and now he sent me this letter taunting me about it. That filthy little... Baldish language. Look what he's written. Look what he's written. My coal dragon power station is now running at full capacity. You said this could never be done. But I have proved to be the better dwarf. Lies. I didn't say it couldn't be done. I said it shouldn't be done. This power station will be a disaster for the dwarves and everyone else. Brother, you are letting Zamorak's anger overtake you. You have been such a pious servant of Saradim. Do you not... Do not stray from the path now. I I am sorry, Brother Ulfric. I will renew my vow of silence. 
I am sorry for my brother's outburst. The path of the Saradonist monk is a demanding one, and Brother Baldus is one of the newest acolytes, so I am sure you will forgive him. Once my brother has achieved true peace and serenity, he will never make similar. Great Saradim. What's the matter? My roses, look, they're dying. My poor red roses, look at them, they're dying. Why are they dying? These red roses were imported from a cold northern island. It was already warmer than they used to, and now it's getting so hot that it's too much for them. The other roses look like they're safe for now, but if it keeps on getting hotter, I think they might might die too. Can I help? Could you? Thank you so much. If you applied some compost then watered the roses, they would recover, at least for now. I'll go get some compost. Okay, so the red roses and it's these ones here so the first thing we got to do is use compost on them you apply the compost to the red roses now you need to water them so now we use the watering can There we go. What's that? Holy flaming Baldus language. Where am I? Where's the mountain? How do I get to the mountain? Professor Abernap. Um, hello. Welcome to the Monastery of Saradam. The mountain. How do I get to it? Just go out the main doors to the south and then head west. Thank you. Got to go. What an odd little fellow. Perhaps you should see what he wants. Okay, right, let's check the quest log. I should follow the gnome to Ice Mountain and see what he wants. Right, okay, so that's what we gotta do. Let's check the map, see if it shows us whereabouts it wants us to go exactly. Right, so we've got to go to the top. Up this way. There, that's in there, I think. Yeah, Professor Arbanap. Hold still. What? Oh, not you, them. What are you doing? Trying to catch baby ice fiends. Why? What? Why are you trying to catch ice fiends? Oh, too hot, dying. Spirit Tree told me ice fiends are already at the limit of their um, tolerance for temperature. Now it's getting hotter for some reason, they'll die. So I'm collecting some baby ones, that is. I'm going to take them to a cold island, otherwise they'll go extinct. Why is it so hot? What? I don't know. It's not balance, not gumfix. At least I don't think so. I don't see how it is. It's not natural. We don't have time to worry about why. We've got to save the ice fiends. Can I help? 
I don't know. Can you help? I could help you catch ice fiends. Oh, could you? Thank you. I can't seem to catch them on my own. Take this net. Catch four baby ice fiends and give them to me. Okay. Right, so that's what we got to do. Now we click on the baby ice fiends to catch them. After equipping the net. Two. That's three. One more. We're all out of baby ice fiends. Are there any babies over there? Oh, there's one. Right, that's four. Let's now go talk to him. I still can't catch the ice fiends. Have you had any luck? I've caught four baby ice fiends. <coughs> Thank you. What was that? Ground shaking, not good. I, uh, well, um, I think I've got enough ice fiends anyway. Got to go. And off he goes. The avalanche seemed to be centred on the northern end of the mountain. Maybe I should see if it has done any damage there. Okay, checking the quest log. Uh, I should explore Ice Mountain to see if the avalanche has damaged anything. Okay. Alright, let's talk to the Oracle. A terrible event. Oracle's tent is gone. An Oracle without a tent is like uh, me without my tent. What happened to your tent? Ground shakes, ice moves. Oracle's tent is at the bottom of the mountain. I like the way the Oracle talks. No nonsense. Just cut, keep straight on the point. I could fix your tent for you. Hence the nails and the planks that I hope you remember to bring along with you. In future language, Gamester for Life is a word meaning kindness. Oh yeah, I guess that is true. Right, so now we need to fix the tent. Just to confirm that, let's click on this. The avalanche, the avalanche has wrapped wrecked the oracle's tent. The oracle has asked me to fix the tent. I should get the oracle's tent from the bottom of Ice Mountain to see if I can repair it. Is this active? I'm not sure if I clicked it active. Well, it should be now. Right, now the tent is down the bottom. Um... Let's see, how can I get down there? Ah, oh, here we go, wreck tent. You see it there? You pick up the remains of the tent. You could repair it with two wooden planks and two nails. Right, so let's go into the pocket. And 
use Niles with tent. You can't just rebuild the Oracle's tent anywhere. You should use the tent on the place. Right, okay, so basically it's telling us we need to go back up there. So, I think it's got to go here. Now, can I do it here? Don't just rebuild anywhere, alright. Let me do it there. Oh, there we go. So you just use the tent on the pile of debris that's there. There, that's your tent fixed. You have a noble soul. Oh, oh, no. What's the matter? The snow. Where has the snow gone? What? It's right here. No, it's gone in the future. There is no ice on Ice Mountain or the other Ice Mountains. What other Ice Mountains? I am mountains of ice in, in the water, I, the sea. I'm mostly underwater, but I'm melt. I split and then the sea gets hotter because of the ice is gone. The sea gets hotter. Ice reflects, I am a sunbeam. White ice makes me turn around, but dark water lets me in. And it rises and rises, and the firebird... Firebird? What are you talking about? My feathers extinguished, island gone beneath the waves. Monks and priests must find another home. Is Varak a desert? Oh no. Desert stretches from Varick to Lumbridge. Crops die, people fight over last food, all dead. Has this happened already? No, I think I would have noticed. Then you must stop it. But how? I can't remember. Wait, I see you've stopped it somehow. It must be Droker's power station. Our hunger will exhaust the earth and our waste will exhaust the sky. Uh, it's a natural process. How can we change it? From here I could take one step. Alright. Oh, I think they're just as mad as a hatter. Um... Maybe it can be stopped. Future is not certain. I see future, but future is confused. I'm so confused. I'm going to go and do something there about that. Future can still be decided. Right, let's check quest. I should talk to the dwarves and try to get the cold dragon power station shut down before it destroys civilization. Droka is running the power station and it is powering Nermoth's pickaxe machine. Right, so I should talk to the dwarves. Let me check my notes now. Uh, I made a note that I must talk to the oracle. The snow, where's the snow gone? Oh. No, she's supposed to mention about Gelenor is in danger.
Yeah, no, I think this has already been through all of that. Right, okay, so I think I've done with the Oracle. Now I need to talk to the dwarves. Right, so I'm going to head back to the power station and talk to Drokar. So I need to go. I wonder if it's quicker for me to teleport back to Fal. Fal, no, I don't think it's that far. Let's just run. Right, so back to the power station. Talk to Drokar again. You again, what is it now? You've got to shut down this power station. Really? Why is that then? Baldis said it shouldn't have been built. Baldis, pa, Baldis is a failure. He's not fit to call himself a dwarf. He was too drunk and disorganised to finish off his plans for an alternative power station. Now he sits around all day with his little holler, holier than thou club, and thinks he can lecture me. The Oracle predicted it would cause the end of civilization. The Oracle? Yes, she talked about icebergs melting and Trana being flooded and Varak turning into a desert. Oh, honestly, the idea that emissions from a station like this could affect the world's temperature are plain unfounded. Their so-called Oracles are just out to make a quick gold piece out of your gullibility. How does that work? She didn't even ask for any money. Whereas I'm paid by the people who designed this power station, so you know I'm impartial. I say that this power station can't possibly be the problem. Anyway, it's not my decision. If you want to shut us down so badly, then talk to Nermov. I'm sure he'll be delighted that you want to shut down the power source for his new pickaxe machine. I'll go and talk to Nermov then. You do that. You'll find him down inside the Dwarven Mine, right underneath this power station. Okay, so over here, open trap door. You there, that trap door is for power station workers only. Ah, oh, okay, I was hoping I could just use it. No, it won't let me. Okay, so we can get down there though, over here. I'm down this ladder. Right, now we've got to find Nermoth. Oh, it's been a long time since I've done this. Where is he? I'm just going to have to search for him. It would have been nice if the map showed where he is. Ah, oh, pickaxe factory, so I think I am going to the right place. That's good. Right, so he should be around here. Yeah, there he is. Talk to him. Greetings and welcome to my pickaxe shop. Do you want to buy a premium quality pickaxes? You've got to shut down the power station. What? What are you talking about? Oh, there's the timer. 
It's making Ice Mountain heat up. First the monks' flowers died, then the ice fiends started melting, and then an avalanche ruined the oracle's tent. Oh dear, Baldus thought this might happen. He did. Yes, he said he had an idea for a different kind of power source, one that wouldn't cause problems. He never presented it to me though. I set a date for Baldis and Drokar to present their ideas, but Baldis didn't turn up. On the day of the presentation, he suddenly upped and left. What was this other power source? I still don't know. Baldus was very secretive about his plans. He seemed to think that Drokar or someone else would steal them. I do not know that it wouldn't. I do know that it wouldn't use fuel and wouldn't require any replacement parts from Keldegrim. That's sounding good to me now. The consortium have doubled the price of dragon eggs, but I have to keep buying them. Why did he leave? He didn't say. On the morning before the presentation, he just upped and left without a word. I eventually found he'd join the monastery, but when I went there, he wouldn't talk to me. The monk said he'd take the vow of silence. He seemed very upset, though. You've still got to shut down the power station. I can't shut it down. My business would be destroyed. Without this machine, I can't produce produce enough pickaxes to meet demand. Then the miners would start going to Keldegrim to buy the inferior pickaxes from Tati. Right, okay, so let's say goodbye to him. And check the quest. Okay, I should ask Brother Baldus in the monastery about the plans he made. Okay, and that's where I'm going to end this first part of Ice Perils of Ice Mountain. Mountain. The time has gone, and so I'll split it and hopefully complete it in the next episode. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching, and have a, a fantastic day. Goodbye.